Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to South Tenerife. We are here in Costa Rodecki, just on the border of Las Americas, so to speak. Uh, and we're here today to try out the brand new beach club just here, Las Rocas. Now, uh, this has been closed for the last couple of years. There was so many different rumors and different stories about what it was going to be. It was originally a beach club and all they've done is completely refurbish it and make it another brand new beach club. And it looks amazing. Uh, opened a couple of days ago, so I'm excited to head inside. They've got a gorgeous array of cocktails. However, it's lunchtime. I don't think a cocktail is advisable for me, so I will be having a coffee However, I will show you what the cocktails look like and the prices. Anyone is welcome in here and it is connected with the Hardin Tropical Hotel just above it. I'm going to show you exactly how to get in, what's in there, the prices, the aspect. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's certainly a place I'd like to spend a few hours. So if you're around in Las Americas, Costa Rodecki, definitely going to be an option. This one, of course, as well to mention, you will get a stunning sunset from where this is located. So could be a nice sunset cocktail place this one let's head on inside check it out and you can come along with me okay now i have just parked here in puerto colon above all the uh, the boats and the marina which as you can see is extremely busy today busy day out at sea currently 28 degrees uh, but we're going to head up this way as if you were heading towards las americas if you stay on the promenade here it does come up on your right hand side this is it just here so uh, i've parked here but if you're walking it does come up along the beachfront, you will see it. I'll leave the link in the description as well if you want to check it out, check out the menu and the location and everything. Yeah, you can see it just here. They've still got a little bit of uh, clearing up to do, final little touches, but so glad to see it back open and so glad it's not become, you know, something not quite as nice. I love that aspect, so I'm glad we've not got any big buildings or anything blocking that lovely view. So we can see from here they are going to be extending the beach club all the way down to here. Not quite finished with this area yet but nice to have the first bit open and the restaurant open but as you can see still working on it, still going to come all the way down here. But look at the view you've got though, just here is Lagomera that you can see in the distance and that is right where the sun would go down so they're the views you're going to have, postcard sort of stuff. Well I've come straight from work to film this, I was excited to come down for a coffee. Now I don't get hangry. I get like coffee if that makes sense. I get caffeine-y. If I don't get my coffee or my caffeine, I get the same feeling as like hangry. So I'm definitely hankering for a good coffee here. Right, I'm sure they're gonna do a nice lecce lecce, hopefully. So here we go then, here's our first glimpse from up above. Look at it down there, I love the umbrellas. I can see already this is gonna be right up my street. There's another one with a similar sort of decor in Palmar that we absolutely love, but look at the views it's got. Ah, oh, this is going to be gorgeous, everyone. This is going to be a nice option. So just here where the promenade narrows a little bit, the little entrance is coming up on the right. You can't miss it, really, whichever direction you're walking in. Cannot miss it. Look at the Bougainville all in flower. Love that. They smell lovely as well. Oh, I'm well up for this. The pool looks amazing as well. I won't be having a swim today, but boy, is it tempting in this heat. It's uh, absolutely stunning here in Tenerife at the moment right let's get ourselves in okay so as you come in there is a lovely lady on the desk that uh, will get you a seat and they do radio down and check that there's availability for a seat and uh, they've just checked so there is a table for one which is fantastic so there is a lovely lady there um, that uh, will help you out with getting a table she radios through downstairs and then when you're uh, good to go you can wander on in which is nice so you don't get you know people queuing up down here if there's no tables, they let you know. Now you will see here you've got a lift. It's not working at the moment. So obviously they're only just finishing it off. So you will have a lift going down. Here's the connection through to the hotel, which isn't quite open yet. Look at this, everyone. Wow. I love it. Absolutely love it. They've got the theming spot on to exactly how I like it. The sand. Love these with like the, the wicker roof type things the different deck chairs, even the tiki's there that we can see. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Mum and dad are definitely gonna to wanna to come here when they're over, for sure. This is gonna be right up my mum's street. Right, down the brand new steps we go then. As I said, they've not quite fully finished, but it's finished enough to start welcoming guests in and letting people get the feel of it. Look at those day beds. Now my mum would be in heaven in one of them. The pool to have a dip in. 
different pools along. I think there's, oh, look, look at the showers. Look at the theme on the shower there. That's awesome. Right, okay, here we go. Right, well, I mean, and look at the view I've got. The waves are crashing literally below my chair. Stunning. Look at the, uh, the umbrellas as well. Right, so this is where we are, Las Rocas. And this is the menu. So if you want to give this a scan, this will bring up the menu and everything for you at home. If you want to have a look at the, the cocktails, exactly what they've got, it's all on the QR here. You know, look at the table, like the, the wood finish and the and these pads on these chairs that I'm sitting on. Super, super comfy. Now inside there is your main restaurant. That's where you've got the food and everything. For now, I've just said I'm having a drink, but I might end up having a bite to eat because I'm, I'm in loving the aspect a bit too much. Right, let's scan the menu, everyone. Have a look with me, see what we should go for. Well, I think for me, it's gonna have to be a coffee and a tiramisu. Tiramisu, I'm addicted, absolutely addicted. Can't resist tiramisu. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. A little coffee, fizzy water, tiramisu. Watch the whale go by. We've got parasailing, jet skis, whale and dolphin trips. But it's the sound of the waves just crashing in literally right below you. You can almost feel them uh, crashing right below you, that feet there that just make it so relaxing. There's a little bit of atmospheric music on, but when you're sat right here by the waves, as you can hear, all you can hear is the ocean. Very relaxing. Now, if I sat my mum here with a book, well away, well away. Mum, if you're watching, you're going to be quids in and here, I tell you. <laughs> it is, uh, I like what they've done. I like what they've done. It's been worth the wait, I think. From what I can see so far, worth the wait. Okay, everyone, so in terms of pricing, if you do wanna come down here and spend the day and enjoy the sunbeds and everything, if you're on your own, like me, it would be 65 euros for the day. Uh, if you're two persons, it's 100 euros for two people. And uh, now that is not the cost of coming in. That money that you pay, you pay up front, then goes behind the bar and you have that to use on food and drinks. So you can have up to that much of food and drink. If you go over that, obviously you're gonna be charged. So say for example, Two of you come in, you've paid your 100 euros and you drink 10 cocktails and you go over that 100 euros in terms of the bill, you just pay the difference. Uh, but yeah, if you're gonna come on your own, 65 couples, 100 euros, I think it's quite a good price. You can have uh, the food at your sunbed. Uh, you've got some lovely servers here. There's even a system there where you can press a button and it will alert the server that you want serving or you want a drink. Uh, they will bring it to your sunbed, bring the food to your sunbed, uh, or you can go and eat it and enjoy it in the restaurant if you want to. Uh, it's open from 10 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. So you've got literally all day to spend, enjoy. You've got Dorada on draft, which is our local lager, Corona, gorgeous cocktails, lovely staff in here. Obviously, everyone's sort of just quite, you know, getting used to it, learning all the ropes and everything. It's literally just opened. But yeah, everything so far is very, very nice. I think it's a fair price. It's sort of the standard for the beach clubs in Tenerife. 50 euros each, but you get that in, in cocktails and drinks and everything anyway. So a lot of you, even if you paid to come in, would be buying cocktails. So I think that's a good price. Gorgeous sunbeds, big pads on them. I will be definitely bringing the family along, but there you go. In terms of the pricing, uh, you can use the pools, all of the facilities, sit where you like, sit at your sunbed. Lovely looking menu with seafood, steaks, burgers, snacky stuff. Uh, paella, some little uh, Canarian dishes on there as well, desserts. So, I mean, my coffee, fizzy water and my tiramisu is probably already going to be like 20 euros. So for an extra 30, I could have been here all day eating another 10 tiramisus <laughs> and enjoyed a swim. But yeah, just in terms of the prices, that gives you the, the information that you need. Opens at 10, get yourself down, get a sunbed, spend the whole day. And I think you can leave and come back as well. You could leave your stuff there, have a little wander, come back in. So I think definitely good price for what you're getting. Right, now, just as I was uh, waffling on there about the prices, uh, here is my Lecce Lecce coffee. So this is a sweet Canarian coffee. It's got condensed milk in the bottom of there. So if you like a sweet coffee, definitely try one of them. It's a very Canarian Tenerife thing. Uh, sparkling water, bonus points, because this is a very, very nice sparkling water in your glass bottle. Lovely. 
nice glass as well and then here is the tiramisu look at that for a tiramisu everyone ho 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 yes uh, tiramisu is 10 euros but it's a nice big size for that so this is my little setup for the next few hours i'm going to do a few work emails and just enjoy myself there's no rush either you don't feel pressured or rushed in here very nice indeed i think that is going to go down very nicely for lunch let me know would you have a tiramisu for lunch or is it just me Now, the all-important Night Strider Tiramisu taste test. If you watched the channel before, you know I love tiramisu. Now, I do like a nice balance of cake and mousse. Do you like a moussey tiramisu or a cakey tiramisu? This looks like a nice, fine balance. It does look nice and uh, moist. It's passing the test. Mm. That is beautiful. That is very, very nice. Mm. Extremely fresh. You can tell the cake is very fresh. Nice and cold in the middle with that nice liqueur running through it. Nice lunch past the test. Right up there, that is. Right up there. The only thing missing off that is a little blob of Nutella. It's gorgeous. I know who's going to like that. And that's me again and my dad. Mmm. That is stunning. So I was just chatting to one of the lovely servers there who was saying how much he's enjoying working here. He said, obviously it's very new, so a few little things to iron out, which is normal. But uh, he said, working here with these views, can't beat it, cannot beat, beat it. I bet demolish that tiramisu's gone, coffee's gone. But yeah, it's, it's not a bad place to work, is it, with a view like that? Now I've just come through to the other side of the restaurant and look at these lovely two tables here. If you wanted more of a view of Las Americas, these are your two tables you want. Right up above all these lovely rock formations below. I did see a turtle a minute ago, a few crabs as well. Yeah, there's a view right across to uh, Las, uh, Las Americas, I should say, from these tables here. Loads of table options, some big ones as well if you're a big group or you want to sit inside in the shade. Yeah, there's some nice tables there, aren't they? Look at that for a view. Well, here's a closer look then at one of these day beds with uh, the nice, I love them. I think they're really really good quite large as well for two people ample space on them real thick padding so uh, pretty comfy nice and then you've got the little cha table and chairs in front as well so if you don't want to sit there so we can drink you can sit on your own little table here with a view look at that for a view the pool looks absolutely stunning the little curtain going across i'm definitely back here everyone let me know you're going to come and have a go with this it's like a long length one this you can have a proper little swim so it will be extended further down, don't forget. But I think it's nice, I love what they've done with it. Okay, so the lovely Giovanni here is making me a nice Canarium Punch cocktail. So this is bespoke to Las Rocas, yeah? You can't get it anywhere else. Bespoke, so let's see what goes into this. This looks like it's gonna be nice. Is it, what's your favorite cocktail to make? This one, Canary and Punch, perfect. Let's enjoy everyone.
Now, all of you who know me, I don't normally do daytime drink drinking or daytime cocktails, but it's not too big. It is nice, though. I'm uh, starting to really feel the vibe. Wish I'd brought me towel and my costume and everything now. But uh, we will come back another day. But definitely add this one to your list to visit. Even if you just pop in for a drink, sunset, you might want to have a meal, spend the day. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And the staff couldn't do enough for you. They're very, very highly trained. Um, I think they need a few more of them. I think they're working on that, but the staff they've got, they're, like the, the men behind the bar there, they know exactly what they're doing with the cocktails. You know when someone knows what they're doing with the cocktail and both of them were uh, right on it with the cocktails and the drinks there. So here's a quick look. This is the paella. Paella. Paella, seafood paella. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, that's for two people? Nice. Wow, look at that, everyone. Well, I can honestly say that was wonderful. And I like the way the staff were very clear and upfront as well. Like, for example, I said, you know, I'm going to link the website so people can see the menu. And they said, unfortunately, at the moment, the website isn't quite ready. So they were just straight up front, you know, a little bit on, quite ready yet. But it's certainly ready enough to get people in, enjoy cocktails, drinks, food, and the rest will, will certainly work itself out. So as soon as the website is ready, I will get it on there for you. But yeah, if you scan that QR code, everything will come up. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Highly recommend a visit. And I'll definitely be bringing Laura for a day pass. Chill on those beds. I'll do a bit of editing, a bit of emails. Lovely. And all you have to do is ask the lady up the top here. If you don't have to go all the way down, the lady up the top here will let you know if there's a table. Answer any questions you've got. But yeah, wonderful. Highly, highly recommended that. Now, just to mention the bill, everyone, total bill, I had the Agua Con Gas was 250, the Lecce Lecce Coffee was 250, Tiramisu was 10, and the Canarian Punch Cocktail was 14, so a total of 29 euros. So for only 20 euros more than what I had, I could have had the, the, the bed for the day, swam and everything. So certainly is not bad value, 50 euros each if you're a couple to go in, in there for the whole day, because it does show you it does add up. You can easily get through some nice bits of food and drink in there, so... I think price-wise, it's pretty spot on for what you're getting. Well, that is us all done, everyone. I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, do please hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, are you gonna come and visit? I think they've done a lovely job, but let me know your thoughts, definitely. I'll certainly be back. Uh, do uh, make sure you hit the subscribe as well. I do live here in Tenerife, I have done for 10 years, so there is loads on the channel, loads coming up. We do a lot of live streams and stuff as well. So one night, we'll probably be going there and do a live stream with the sunset, have some nice drinks. So uh, do check out the channel and uh, make sure you join our Facebook group as well, the Night Strider Tenery fan group. We've got over 18,000 members in there. Very friendly group and there's all kinds of advice, tips, uh, discounts and things on our Facebook page. So uh, do make sure you join the group. Thank you very much for watching and uh, go and get yourself down there. Last rock ass, enjoy a little cocktail. Staff are lovely. Views are spectacular. They are probably the best views in the south of Tenery potentially. You cannot beat those views. You will see why. Sunset, Lagamera, palm trees, blue skies, views, boats going by, ocean crashing in front of you. You can't beat that. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. And of course, stride on.